Okay. Hey, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. Welcome back to the second micro hydro install here on Land the House. I'm with uh, my neighbors and friends with the Homestead on the Mountain YouTube channel. You can check them out, link in the description down below. So we have just finished getting our pin stock installed. We're thinking it goes somewhere around 600 feet with 200 foot of drop. And it comes out right down here. And you can see we have, it's about uh, almost 14 gallons a minute coming out of this pipe. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is install a couple of fittings and have a pressure gauge so we can calculate the actual feet of head that we have coming off the mountain here. So this is what it's gonna look like down here at the end of the pin stock. This will attach to that barb fitting on the pin stock there. I'm gonna have this piece which goes up on a T for the pressure gauge. And then we'll come out over here to another one of these brass valves like we used up top. So we'll be able to cut the water off. And then later on, we're gonna use a union to attach the turbine so that if we need to do some maintenance we can just pull this turbine off easily with this union. So I'm going to go through here and just get these fittings glued here. We'll give it a few minutes to cure and then we'll get a pressure rating, pressure reading. It's always amazing how fast this stuff works. We've let this sit for about an hour. It's probably not 100% cured, but should be good enough for this test here. So we're going to uh, get this screwed onto the end of the pin stock. Uh, I think we want the other way, is that right? Yeah, that way. <laughs> All right. So we can get our uh, PSI at the end of this thing. When we install the turbine, we're going to be making a little bridge basically that'll go from one side of the bank to the other. And the turbine will sit on top of that so the water can just fall back down to the creek. Okay, we ready to uh, close it off and see what we get? See what we get. So the pressure should be pretty much nothing here and then we should see it climb up. Our goal is to see somewhere around 90 once all of the air has left the pipe. Is that about 10 already? Yep, 10, 15, almost to 20. Nice, it's about 20 there. I'll bring you back in just a moment whenever the uh, air is out of the pin stock at the top. That's better than it too. We've let this pipe sit for 15 to 20 minutes and let's see where we're at here. Uh, it's not focusing. 62 
PSI. So at 62 PSI, that's the static pressure. So it will drop a little bit whenever we have the flow rate passing through here. But we may also have some air bubbles stuck somewhere up the creek. When those pass, we'll have a higher static pressure. Um, but with that uh, PSI, it comes out to 186 watts that our turbine can generate down here at the bottom. So in the next video, we are going to be installing the turbine, which is from Langston Alternative Power. Spencer has been very gracious, giving a lot of information to install this system and also providing this turbine to uh, get us up and running. So if you would check out his link in the description down below, he not only gives you the turbine, but he has wired it to fit your need. So if you give him your flow rate and your head pressure, he will wire that motor up so that you have the uh, voltage you need for your system. Um, so definitely go check out his work. Thank you so much for watching. Also, check out Homestead on the Mountain. Oh, yeah. They uh, will have some content that is uh, of this turbine that will be different from what I've shot here. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.